like I'm King Kong. Name stop going ding dong. There's two girls giving more money and they don't rap, they sing songs. I stay with their pink on, pink fuzz and them pink thongs. Goons up, they blink wrong. Think hard but don't think long. Pink fry the head Eminem, split hard but I'm feminine. I kind of treat you on monster, goblins and gremlins. What's left that I didn't do? You with the forbidden fruit. You thought you'd get my spot? Who the fuck was getting you? Took a little break but I'm back to me, trying to make new tea with a factory. They'll never turn to one to track with me. There'll never be another one after me. This good little soldier's half of me. Bless me. Many as well bless me. All this little IQ holds bad for me. Time to watch this bitch take a bath for me. But it shows in my crib like an athlete. As in game pink love, but the trash is weak. Man, you know I ripped the rapper. No tea gon' eat bone appetite. He's a little hot of half a milk. He's a little hot of half a pump. When I'm paying his friend like a lot of shit. When I'm paying his coming and rub my shit. Uh, now carry on. Now carry on. Now carry on. So as you may have guessed it, Nicki Minaj is one of the people that inspire me as a creative as a female role model as well like she is so inspiring to a whole lot of women like she pretty much inspired their entire female rap game as it is today and you know like she's not afraid to speak her mind she's not afraid to do things a little differently and be looked upon you know like okay what are you doing she's just she's she's always been bold and another thing that's amazing about it is that she already knew that she's going to be the successful like she is today like way back even in her first album and that for me is just truly amazing like when you listen to her old lyrics like the things that she said like she already spoke about what she's going to become and that is just truly inspiring but if beyond that she's also inspiring as an entrepreneur like she is all about the money like she's awesome <laughs> Cause I scare her, I scare her, my biggest error I've never been clearer Clan for real for Zephyra Fairer because you'll never be me This with your Bella Gigi does say goodbye DJ pretty unrated PG Oh, now carry on Now carry on Now carry on Now carry on So what inspires the work that we do here at Anakin Creators? It is really, you know, the whole idea behind our, you know, core values as well as the colors that we chose for our brand. And that is fearless marketing. So that's that bright orange um, creative content. That's that lime green. And then the teal stands for reliable services. So that's really the ideas that inspire our work. And, you know, when I started the thinking of, you know, the type of company that I want to create you know I really wanted to create or build something that is very 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 different from what everyone else is doing with their marketing you know I strongly believe that I could make a difference in the way marketing is being done and advertising is being done because I find like a lot of the adverts out there and a lot of the marketing out there it's really it's, they, they, they always like follow the same sort of you know best practices like there's always some sort of a you can see there's a, there was a rule set to it and it was copied from you know something that someone else did either like a week ago or a month ago or even last year so I really think that it is time for us marketers you know to break that chain and create content that is very different and you know create content that inspires um the viewers to you know either take action or you know if, have them feeling informed have them feel entertained but they need to you know after watching the content that you put out they need to feel like omg i either need to make a difference right now or they need to feel like even if they don't feel like they need to make a difference at least can they feel like you know can can they feel some sort of emotion towards what you put out even if it's anger like they need to be like what the f did that person just say <laughs> like the content that we're creating is really it's it's really too basic it is it's 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 honestly boring and that is why you know one of the taglines for for Alakin creators is don't be boring because we strongly believe that the content out there right now the type of marketing the type of branding the type of adverts that i've put out are super boring and we want to just break away from that and create content that turns heads as soon as someone watches it like they need to be like oh and gee did that did that just happen <laughs> and they need to like they need to be wiping their tears away because it 
crying because of laughter then like then it needs to do more than just showcase your products or showcase your services it needs to do more than just talk about what a great brand you are and that is you know what inspires a lacking creatives just making a difference with the type of content that we put out the type of brands that we are building <sighs> and yeah Hey everyone, so I've got a podcast planned right now with Kelly Pankloko, it's for the Women's Consortium. I'm not sure if you know this yet, but the Women's Consortium has been revamped. I'm working with two other partners on it, so we are so, 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 so excited you know, about what the new Women's Consortium has to offer. Like, yeah, so that is what I am doing right about now. I've got four minutes left, um, starting... Um, in four minutes so i have had kalipa on the show before but like i said we are revamping the entire women's consortium so we are i'm pretty much doing um interviews with most of the people that i did interviews with in the previous women's consortium so i'm inviting them again if they'd like to so we can you know, talk about something a little different because the women's consortium now it's not really about digital marketing because that is what the main focus was on the last one um but yeah it's now more about you know personal development for ambitious young females so yeah i hope that anyone so that is a part of the project i'm working on as um i like king creatives but yeah <sighs> my day has been hectic did i mention that um i don't think i mentioned like how my week has been going yet so this is what a week routine so my week has been absolutely crazy like i started monday i had like a stiff neck i literally couldn't move my neck left or right it was super painful i thought i was gonna be ambitious you know and you know get, kick ass i woke up i exercised <laughs> i think that made things absolutely worse um but yeah the later on the day i just sat there on the couch and i was like i can't move i can't do anything <laughs> help me and um for the most part of my monday it's been it was just a drag i did get a little bit of work done because i had client stuff to do so um it was monday so but the rest of the week has been super productive right now i am prepping myself for tomorrow i've got a business presentation and i could potentially get funding if it goes well so fingers crossed if it goes well then yeah Ella king creatives is just about to you know blow up so yeah prepare yourselves for that please, please, please. um but yeah um today i've got a bit of client work to do i've got the digital mind digital marketers mindset mastermind yeah digital marketers mastermind at four um but yeah those are the only two major things besides um completing the business plan um for tomorrow i don't know why but i just I, i'm i'm so deadline driven sometimes that i put tasks off until the last moment and in as much as I do get things done at the last moment but it's really just a bad habit to you know put everything off to the last moment because now this week I've been stressed out like crazy because I've had so much work to do and um yeah for the mastermind um I didn't complete my task for the day for the two weeks because we have a mastermind way to um set goals two weeks later we report on those goals and yeah i did not get mine done i'm sorry i'm sorry folks because like i said i've been super busy and i've been putting off tasks that i should have you know done at least two three weeks ago so now but yeah anywho anyhow let me get on to my meeting it is one minute to two now Check. Worries, let me just get myself prepped okay cool so i was hoping today you know we can discuss not digital marketing but more you know personal development and i want to talk about you and your career so i will be asking you more questions about you know what you do what are your passions all of that we can touch on your um your feature in glamour magazine if you'd like yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. so yeah that is basically the idea behind today's um today's um podcast so um 
what's happening right now with get ready with tea is that i am collaborating with um two other individuals so they are pretty much assisting me you know in getting everything to look prim and proper so we wanted to revamp every single little thing so that's why i asked you to come on yeah. again okay cool no worries it's perfect do you have any questions for me before we get started um other than like how you doing how's the rebranding process going for you um what sparked you know <laughs> when to change everything um i'm doing well but like what sparked the change is like i was i did like a digital marketers mastermind with a couple of um digital marketers on my linkedin mm -hmm. so i just reached out to some of the mm -hmm. individuals that i know they run their own businesses so we were connected and everything and then one of them reached out to me later on and like hey i just just thought of this um amazing idea like she she got invited to an, a virtual event and she saw that you know that could be a potential business idea as well and she was wondering if i want to collaborate with yeah. her on that so i was like you know what i actually have an idea of how we can you know create a virtual event and we can link it yeah. up to something that i've been doing which is the women's consortium so i've been um to yeah. her like what the podcast is all about and pretty much started like that and then okay, she cool. invited okay, like cool. one more person to do like the ads and everything. So it's the three of us now. Okay, nice. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. I hope it goes really well. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> Honestly, because like we've been working on it for the past three weeks now, like doing some videos, um, setting up like social media accounts for it specifically and creating its own website and also we are putting a lot of effort into it so i'm hoping it actually yeah. does pay off <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true and yosa what have you been doing um yeah i'm also in the same boat actually so for my personal um brand i am 